you know today i released a video and the title of the video was an interview between me and one of the guys i know prince so on the video uh, we're talking about a lot of things south african parents we're talking about hustling and then it came a point where in the video we talk about south africans don't hustle harder as uh, foreigners you know and it seems like many people agree and some disagree but many disagree in real life because here in campus here yeah, people were like the video you release i don't agree with it now south africans we work harder foreigners don't work harder than us then we started having a debate the conversation and i was a little bit busy so i didn't even have to speak too much this other guy was like it's true look at the south africans uh, they're not building the flats they're not building houses look in Limpopo, wherever you go if you want to build a house you want to build a machine you want to build something you're going to call a zimbabwean guy a mozambican guy they are the ones who are going to go there and build your house baba pusha ma will par ma the foundation and the other guy was like no it's because they know you're going to pay them and you also know you're going to pay them less that's why you hire them over south african south africans it's like your father south africans will overcharge you and they won't be consistent in the work they won't be accountable for the mistakes like debating going all over the place you know with the discussion and one thing i've realized is that as south africans south africans they want to defend themselves even when it's unnecessary because let's be honest if you want to build a house in Limpopo, Ofrugulung nisi kesi, who is the first option? Eka asi esoweto. Are you gonna call Sipo or are you gonna call him Nangango? Who are you calling first? They are gonna call him Nangango. You know he's gonna come here. He's gonna do the work fast. Not saying that you don't call South Africans, but whoever comes to your mind, Mayulung nisi moto. Who is it? Is it a South African? garage where you will fix your car or it's a nigerian garage or it's a foreigner garage he's a mozambican guy who's gonna fix your car who's your first option you want to fix your car it broke down a gas who are you gonna go to aren't you gonna go to mnangango sometimes we need to be honest because these things happen in reality but in online we act like no nah, it's a lie no, South Africans are the ones building the flats, building the houses. South Africans, they can build. They can build, we know. But it's foreigners who are always working hard to build the houses. You call them Nangwangwa. The Zimbabwean guys, the Namibian guys, the Mozambican guys, guys from Maputo. They come and build your houses. That's the reality. That's the honest truth. Not saying South Africans don't do that. They do. So, I don't buy. I don't buy the argument that says South Africans work harder than foreigners. I don't buy it because it's not true. And it doesn't mean I hate South African people. It's just true reality. What do you see in front of you? You know? So, the problem we're not honest you know we want to sound politically correct for favors for likes uh, for youtube algorithms to favor you because somehow algorithms they favor you when you speak bad about foreigners and you train they like you train they favor you they favor you so much so many people manipulate the engagement they know how they can mislead people and then they get the engagement they get the likes people will share their videos but is what they are saying true who is building the houses who is doing most of the construction and i'm not saying they should continue doing it south africans should occupy and do the job but are south african people willing to go and build the houses in the sunny heat of limpopo waking up every day to build that a mansion for mr mbowen they won't they won't let's be honest they won't and if they do in that construction it will be a mixture of south africans and for a bunch of foreign guys from zimbabwe from namibia 
you know, because they are willing to do the job. They are willing to do the hard work. That's why they are the ones who are selling a Josie at, at, at Creek, in Kirk Street. They are the ones selling there because they are willing to do the job. They are willing to wake up in the morning, go and stock there and come back and put a table and sell. They are the ones willing to push a matroli like this and sell fruits and veg. They are willing to do the hard work. They are willing to work harder. Harder, harder. Even for small money, they are willing to do the hard work. Even when they know they're not going to be paid a lot of money because somehow uh, they're going to be treated as slaves because they still work harder. Most of the jobs foreigners are doing, South Africans wouldn't be doing it. They won't do it. They won't occupy the vacant spaces if foreigners live. It will be chai because we want jobs that make us look nice. We want the easy jobs from Shale office in. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying don't be delusional and mislead people and make people think that if foreigners live, they're no more building houses, they're no more selling a chosy, they're no more selling fruits, veg, they're no more pushing those trolleys. You're going to do it. Why aren't you doing it now? Because you're not willing to work like them. You're not willing to work harder like them. You are willing to work for someone else. Some of them, these foreigners, they're willing to work for themselves. Even when it's hard, sitting in the sunny heat, selling something on the street. You are willing to work for someone else and get a salary and get a wage at the end of the month. That's what you as a South African are willing to settle for. And there's nothing wrong with that. But foreigners, some of them, let's be honest. They are the mechanic who most people go to. Is it a South African or a foreigner? Who most people can rely on? Yeah, you can say for cheap labor, whatever, you can justify it. But who is it who people always go to? Is it a South African mechanic? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Because lying, you're just deceiving yourself and everyone out there and giving a false perception of what reality is. Because reality is there. We see it every day. You can witness it every day. You can go outside and go and ask around at the hood. Who is the best guy to build gate? I'm a gate. Maybe you want a gate. Who can build your gate? They will tell you, oh, it's Nanga and Wanangulap. Zok Shiley Gate, Oxprele. I ask as an installer. In the 250. Go to the hood. They will tell you that. And most things I speak about, it's things that have proven in reality. And it's things that can allow even you as a person to go out there and prove it for yourself. It's not something that was written on a paper. It's not something that was said by a politician or a professor at university. It's something that can be seen, that can be touched, that can be observed. You can go observe reality for yourself. You will see. Foreigners, they work harder. And I'm not saying they shouldn't. And I'm not saying they should. I'm not saying they should go. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying, at least they are the ones willing to do the harder jobs than South Africans. But it is what it is. Until you prove it for yourself, you won't believe me. Thank you very much.